Well, hi everyone, it's Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts and today I made this little hat and filmed myself making it. This is going to be for my darling brand new grandson. We did a little photo shoot for him. Uh, it's kind of, we're calling this our newborn sleeping cap because I figured you could make this any color and have it go with your newborn baby. So not, we obviously chose to do Santa colors cause he was just born and um, we were gonna do a Christmas photo shoot with him. So anyway, um, I kind of did this film, this tutorial backwards. So I've already started filming and now I'm coming here at the end and showing you the completed newborn hat that we just made. Now there's something I didn't say at the end of the video, which is to make sure that when you sew this um, portion over and you'll attach your pom-pom a lot better than I did mine too. And I show you that at the end of the move, at the end of the video, just make sure that you are attaching it opposite of the join here. Um, I didn't realize that till I finished the video. So I clip quickly undid what I did and flipped it to the other side. So this is the back of the hat and you'll want to make sure you flip the little, um, piece over and then I just I do I sew that down but anyway it's super simple perfect for newborns this is red heart huga yarn uh, it's that h-y-g-g-e and it's pearl color and then this is red heart soft in um, wine is the color and I do use a k 6.5 millimeter hook for the entire project so this just size-wise is a perfect newborn baby hat size. It's about five and a half inches wide and about that tall. And that's what you need for a simple little newborn baby cap. All right, have fun making this. And um, um, the full pattern is on our website on daisyfarmcrafts.com. All right, you guys, you have a good day. All right, we're gonna start this hat with a simple slip knot, and then you will chain four. And we're going to work a single crochet into the first chain or second chain from the hook. And another one in the next chain from the hook and in the last one so that's a total of three single crochets now we will chain one and turn and we'll go ahead and work under both loops for the first single crochet then I work just in the back loop for the next one and then under both loops for the very last one. And then chain one and turn. So here's single crochet, back loop, single crochet, and single crochet under both loops chain one and turn all right you're going to want to do this for a total of 36 rows all right i have my 36 rows and i wanted to measure this for you to um and an average newborn baby head is between 13 and 14 inches. And my little grandson, we measured him. He was 13 and a half. So it pretty much was right on. So this little band is about 11 and a half inches if I don't pull on it. But I'm making sure that I can stretch it on out to, you know, almost I can stretch this out to 15 if I wanted to. So it's a nice, comfortable 11, and now that I stretched it a little bit, now it's going to 12. So about that long. 
is what you want it to be. 36 inches will have your chain on the same side as the tail. I mean, your ending row. Oh, can't speak. Okay, so I'm going to leave myself a long tail. Pull this out. So I just make sure I have enough because I'm going to sew these two ends together. So I just pull that out. Oops. Get this pulled out. That will secure the end of the round. And now I will grab my tapestry needle and we will sew these ends, this end together to make a round. What I usually do is I just try and match up the rows as best as possible and work underneath the starting chain and I go ahead and go back through these chains and just secure them by kind of working in this spiral loop fashion. All right, so now I have my little head, my little band. So I'm just gonna insert my hook. Actually, I'm just gonna insert my hook at the end of one of these rows here, kind of the, the chain one and turn row. So we have, you can look, here's a row, here's the end of a row, here's the end of a row. We're gonna work at the end underneath these chain one and turn rows. And I think this will make it look a lot neater. I just lay my yarn over the hook and I pull up a loop right there kind of to secure it. I'm gonna go back and work a single crochet and then I'm gonna work another one. And I am, I kind of worked over that tail. And you can bring this tail along with you if you'd like. Now skip this row and we're gonna work two at the end of this row. So here's the end of a row. We're gonna skip that, work over here. If you want to keep hiding that tail underneath your work, that's perfect. Okay, so go around and continue to work two single crochets. Skip at the end of a row, skip a row, two single crochets. Now when you get back to, this is, you know, our join and it's kind of thick or whatever, I just go ahead, pick a spot, and I will work my final two single crochets just like that and then I'll join with a slip stitch to the first stitch that we made okay so you will now have 38 stitches total um, of these if you want to go around and count two four six you know eight whatever 38 now I will chain one and turn and right here in this first stitch I will work a slip stitch then I'll work a half double crochet slip stitch, half double crochet, and I'll work this all the way around in every stitch around the hat. All right, now your last stitch of the round will be a half double crochet, and then you'll slip stitch over here to the first slip stitch of the round. And that one has kind of gotten really tiny on me right there. Chain one and turn. And now on this round, you'll want to start working. So when you're working on the outside of the hat, you'll start working with the half double crochet. Kind of alternates and then slip stitch. 
So you work half double crochet into the half double crochets and slip stitch into the slip stitch. And I can kind of always tell my half double crochets have these two, I don't know, I'm working in between these two horizontal bars here. There's the V, that's how I can kind of tell that's my half. And then the slip stitch doesn't have it. All right, work this around and I'll show you how to join this round. All right, at the end of this row, my last stitch will be the slip stitch. But this time I will join into the half double crochet over here. And again, I kind of look for those horizontal bars so I know that this is the stitch I'm joining a slip stitch with chain one and turn. All right, so now when we're working on the inside of the hat, I always like to remember I begin with the slip stitch row. Slip stitch when I'm working around the inside or when the inside of the house hat faces me, that is the slip stitch. Begin with the slip stitch. So, and also just always remember these stitches stack on top of each other, so that will kind of help. All right, I hope everything's been going well for you. About three inches, that was eight rows. So we've got eight rounds of the even moss stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so uh, my last stitch of this round is a slip stitch because we began the round with a half double crochet. So I'm slip stitching to that very first half double crochet. Pulling through, chaining one, and turning. So I like to do these decrease rounds on a round that starts with a slip stitch. So that's obviously we're working on the inside of the hat. So I'll begin with a slip stitch and then work my half double crochet. We're just going to repeat, uh, reduce this little hat two times in this round. So I want you to work this even moss stitch across the next 16 stitches. Okay, here's stitch number 15. And here's stitch number 16. And now I'm going to skip this slip stitch and this half double crochet. Just skip them entirely and come over here and slip stitch into this next stitch. And just continue with the even moss stitch around. Here's number two, three, four, Keep going around for 16 stitches. All right, I just have made 16 stitches and you actually should have four stitches left for the round. So we're going to skip these last, skip over these two and work slip stitch and your half double crochet is the last stitch of this round. Join with a little slip stitch to the slip stitch, which always gets so tight on me. That's the first stitch of the round. And now on this round, we won't decrease at all. We'll just work it as normal. So one, start with your half double crochets. We're working on the outside of the hat and then slip stitch and work just regularly all the way around. And then we'll do another decrease round after this. All right, let's start this next decrease row with a slip stitch, even though it's gotten really tiny on me there. 
and then a half double crochet and we will work this across 10 stitches. So here's number three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and 10 and skip two stitches or like a you know a kind of I always think of this stitch as just being in pairs stacked little pairs of single crochets and half doubles uh, do that again work 10 and then skip two so you'll notice at the end of this round we didn't quite have enough stitches to finish and and skip two stitches and that's okay we just wanted to reduce two more times in this row so you just finish with the final I believe it was eight stitches and join with the slip stitch wait last stitch is the half double crochet join to a slip stitch begin this round with the half double crochet into the top of the half double crochet and just work one stitch per, no decreasing. All right, let's do another little decrease round. And this time, let's start with the first eight stitches. So slip stitch and half double crochet for the first eight stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and then we'll skip over stitch nine and ten and I like skipping over them when with the slip stitch that's why I like to decrease on this round okay there's one and two three four Did I get that right? And eight, and then let's skip two stitches. Okay, and these last two stitches happen to be the last two stitches of the round. So I'm just going to reach over here and I will slip stitch into that little tiny slip stitch over here. Pull that tight, chain one and turn. So our hat is getting a little bit smaller. All right, this is just a round. Work your half double crochet. Start with the half double crochet on this round. Work around. All right, on this round, we're gonna still do the same number as the last round. Let's work eight stitches and then skip two. There was number eight, and then I'll skip these two, work into the next two. Okay, skip two, and then let's just work for this round. That's what I, it will just work to the end of the round.
Last stitch is that half double crochet. Here's our little smashed slip stitch. If you have a hard time finding that stitch, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and mark it right after you make it on that on that round. Okay, just one, oops, start with the half double crochet. One stitch around, and then we'll just continue decreasing. Our little hat sure is getting its cute little peak here. Okay, let's do another decrease. This time we will work just into the first four stitches. This will really start to make our peak. Skip two, one, two, slip stitch over here to that slip stitch. There's one, two, three, four, skip two, and then one, two, three, four. And if we skip two, we can work two into the last two stitches of the round and then join to that baby slip stitch there all right just work a regular round one stitch around you know that all right and on this round let's go back to just working the first four stitches and then we'll skip two just like we did before on the previous decrease round one two three four skip over two one two a little bit tricky as it gets smaller and smaller three four skip two and then work to the end of the row or the end of the round however it turns out I'm as long as we just decrease you know by t the two stitches here's my little slip stitch and now we are done decreasing because it just gets too tiny and so after I chain one and turn I just work a few more rounds we will and then I'll show you how to attach the pom-pom but let's work this round So I should mention that I've worked and decreased all the way until I have 10 stitches left. So it's just with the 10 stitches left, then I'm gonna work around and around till I have kind of enough of a point, it's just a couple more rounds, that I can bend down and make the little pom-pom. And then um, I sewed the pom-pom right onto the hat. So this just makes, for the cutest little newborn photo shoot, a little sleeping cap. Of course, we're, we've got our little newborn here right at Christmas time, but I can see this being made in neutral tones with any sort of little um, gown. That's why I thought we'd call it just a sleeping cap and it'd just be the perfect little thing for a photo shoot. For newborns oh that's our last stitch right there find the little slip stitch turn let's see if I've got my not quite I'll probably work another round and see where I'm at all right so I worked four more rounds of the just 10 stitches around so it kind of the hat looks like this but 
I'm gonna close the top now so that we'll be able to put that pom-pom on right there and sew it down. So to close the round up, all I'm going to do is just work um, some single crochet two togethers and just finish closing the top up. Go around and around, all in the same direction. I'm not joining anymore. And probably, you know, that's really pretty good. Finish that off right there with a slip stitch. So it's tiny and you can pull that out and cut it off. And we'll weave that end in. Okay, next I'm gonna show you how to make the little pom-pom that will go right there. All right, so this is a clover pom-pom maker, and maybe if you have one the size of mine, the whole width is about two and a half inches from here to here. So this is the size that I'm using. And how I use these is that you go ahead and open up the colored portions like this, pull these loops back, get them all spread out like that. And then I get my Huga yarn here, even those up, and I kind of just wind this around and secure it. And then I just start um, winding it around the little arch here as tight as possible. And I do it several times till it's pretty thick around like that. Get some more. Sorry, this probably, I go ahead and I close this side and then I'll take this across and then I'll just start winding it on this side. I just clip mine off right here at the top and just kind of make it the same height. Then I close this down. Then I grab my scissors again and I, and this is important to have really nice sharp ones right here on the tip. If they're not sharp, this makes it really difficult. So I clip it apart. Keep going. Okay. Now I like to use this, um, it's called Aunt Lydia's cotton thread. And I feel like I can really secure my pom-poms a lot tighter with a very, very skinny piece of cotton thread. So now I just thread it down through the two yellow colored circles and kind of even up my strings here, whatever. And then I pull it really tight. Just tie it. And then this is where I really tighten it down. I squeeze really hard. Sometimes then I thread it back up the other way. Tie it. Squeeze it really hard again. Just get it as tight as I possibly can. And then I'll tie it in a knot. That usually stays for me. Maybe I'll do it one more time. Get another knot in there. Just to make sure. It's knotted tightly. Okay. And then, ah, come on. Okay. So 
there's my knot around the middle. And then all you have to do is open these back up. Oh, and it looks like I didn't get my clip. And open this side back up. And we have our little pom-pom. Take these apart, these come apart. You'll see that this is how you put them together, you know, to start. So now we have this little palm. And what I like to do, I mean, cause I, you know, we're gonna be attaching it. If you like it this fluffy, you know, of course, leave it that fluffy if that's what you like. But I like mine to have just a little bit of a trim and I wanted it to be a lot smaller. So usually I take this over to a trash can and I will just trim, 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 and just kind of eyeball it and get it as nice and tight as possible. That's how I like these palms. So I just trim, trim, trim. So now all I did is I kind of threaded my end through a tapestry needle, kind of estimated where I wanted the little pom-pom, folded it down, and I tacked it right to the hat. So find a little piece of the hat, sew it right down, and just kind of hide this end. Get your end all woven in. So I'm doing it, I'm kind of going, reaching my needle all the way through the layers and through to the hat so it stays down. Then I'll just kind of weave this end through. I'm not so worried about really securing this end because of course this is just really for a newborn photo shoot. They're not gonna wear this a ton and for very long, because <laughs> they'll grow out of this. And then to, to attach the pom-pom, all I did was kind of even up my strings, and I just sewed this right onto the edge too. Just kind of inserted my hook there, and there's my hat, and then I just kind of secured this onto there as discreetly as possible. Really, really tight. And you won't see it at all. Just like that. And just clip it right down to the base right there. And then it won't be seen, okay. And then and you, you can do a better job securing it. I just was doing it quickly for the video. But anyway, there you go. There's your newborn little baby sleeping cap. So, so cute. All right, the full pattern is on our website, daisyfarmcrafts.com. And there's a link down in the descriptions if you're only seeing this on YouTube. So thank you so much for coming by our channel. All right, you have a good day.